Good morning, everyone. My name is Pastor Carlos Mallon. I'm the outreach pastor of the Circle Church of Alexandria, located in Alexandria, Louisiana. This is our first ever Manhood Monday. I wanted to talk about the topic today of change. And I wanted to read a scripture for you. It comes from Romans chapter 12, verses 2. And it says, Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may discern what is the good, pleasing, perfect will of God. When I think about conforming, I think about all the things that's going on in this world. If we just tune in to the local news, whether that's ABC, CNN, NBC, or Fox News, we're being divided. We're being divided whether that's politically, we're being divided whether that's racially, we're being divided whether that's social or economics. In the gospel, we are called to love one another just as Christ loved us. We're called to be in unity with one another. And so in order for us to do that, we must renew our minds. And each day that you don't spend in the word of God, in prayer, or in community with other believers, your mind is going unrenewed. Mother Teresa once said, if you want to change this world, go home and love your families. That's a very deep question. Oftentimes as men, we think of the big picture. We think strategically. We think of the long term of what we can do to impact the world around us. And oftentimes when we look at things from that view, it may seem impossible. It may seem unbearable. But if we begin to look at things from a tactical level, the people that we can influence directly, who better for you to influence than your wife? Who better to influence than your children? For God teaches us through his word to love our wives as Christ loved the church and give up our lives for them. Not give them up in a sense of throwing our lives away in our own ambition, but loving them so much that people are seeing the love of Christ through our marriages. What about raising our children? not provoking them to anger, but raising them up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Who better for you to directly influence fathers than your sons and your daughters? So your sons can look and see what a good husband, what a good father, and what a good man looks like. For your daughters to see the ideal godly man that she should be looking for, or the one that should be rather looking for her someday. These are the things that you and I can do to change and transform the world around us. One family at a time, one community at a time, and then we can begin to look at operationally and strategically what we can but that's a deep question that I had to ask myself as a man, as a husband, and as a father. What could I do to make an impact on this world? What legacy could I do? And I came to that simple fact that the most impact that I can make as a man, as a husband, and as a father is on my own family. Because if I can transform my family, my family can help transform the community. The community can help transform the city. The city can help transform the state. The state can help transform the nation. And prayerfully, with enough godly men leading the way, we can transform the world. I want to go back to the quote that I said earlier. If you want to change this world, go home. Love your family. I pray that this Motivation Monday message was for you today. Our theme of the locker room ministry is follow me and I will make you fishers. Have a blessed week.